Dr. Mark Stokes studies neuropathways of decision-making at Oxford University in England. Dr. Jeff Kalaszewski works in supermax security prisons and hospitals for the criminally insane. He brings a real-world clinician's perspective to the study. Subjects are hypnotized, then submerged in an ice bath, but only after being instructed not to feel the cold of the water. We're going to hook you up to testing equipment to test your level of relaxation and hypnosis. The experts theorize that if they are truly in a hypnotic state, they should feel no discomfort as a result of the freezing water. If they are able to stay in the bath, Maybe that is evidence that they were under deep hypnosis. Well, it's a very extreme test. I mean, it would be quite amazing if somebody can obviously sit through that whilst just playing along with the task. But in Tom's estimation, this is a tall order. I think somebody subject to such extreme temperatures like that can take him out of hypnosis. I've never seen this kind of test done before. If it works, I mean, I'm going to be blown away if it works. This just kind of measures your breathing, OK? The team enlists anesthesiologist, Dr. Shaker Upadialua, to administer the test. What I expect to see when our subjects enter the water is an inspiratory gasp. And that happens usually when the water hits the thoracic four level or the nipple line. And this causes an involuntary. Since the response is involuntary, the subject should not be able to prevent it, no matter how hard they try. A FLIR thermal imaging camera confirms that the water temperature is 35 degrees, just three degrees above freezing. We've decided to cap the experiment really at two minutes. Beyond two minutes, I worry about some cardiac arrhythmias, and I start worrying about the very real possibility of the triggers for hypothermia. You have the good doctor here that's going to test you to the equipment. Put your finger out for me. The team attaches heart rate, pulse monitors, and a monitor to measure the subject's breathing. An EMT is also on hand to ensure safety. You ready, Don? Good, yeah. All right, excellent. I'll be impressed if any of these people can complete the task. All right, so I want to put you back into hypnosis very quickly. I want you to take my hand. Just close your eyes, open, close, open, drop your head down. Sleep. I want you to experience your body to almost feel like it's becoming completely and totally numb, completely and totally becoming desensitized. The experiment is for you to take a wonderful jacuzzi into wonderful warm water. You'll be able to step into the water very, very easily. No one really knows whether hypnosis can actually induce a tactile illusion, like feeling something's warm when it's actually really cold. But what could be happening is hypnosis could be influencing the interpretive process. When you sense something, uh, your nerve uh, is reacting to something in the environment, say like a pinprick. The brain needs to interpret that response. So that's where hypnosis could come in and change how we interpret that signal. Stand up. Come right over here. This is Mark. So I want you to step into this wonderful warm jacuzzi right now. And I want you to close your eyes, let your lower jaw drop down. Here's heart rate. Here's heart rate increase. Step out behind you. You heard his heart rate increase right away. Was he not under or not under enough? As soon as you step into the water, you'll feel the water very warm and comfortable. OK, so Dory, what's she going to do? She does look like she's in a trance. Well, let's look for a response that she feels she's in a warm bath. Very warm. Step into it. Getting warmer and warmer and warmer and warmer. She doesn't look warm. Warmer and warmer. And now, yeah, she's had enough. And look at the thermal cam. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful. Go into the comfortable water. OK, so this is Dawn. Just detach from it. Let go. Let your head drop down. You can see once they stop panting, it's, yeah. I think it's pretty bad. It looks like he's trying. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, look at his muscles. His mm -hmm. muscles are tensed. 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. OK, help. Yeah, he's, he's done. 
Oh, okay. Put your feet under you. Put your feet, feet under you. Put your feet under you. Feet under you. There you go. Stand there you go. Right. Stand. Stand. Stand up. Right. Oh, my That's word. <laughs> you know, I think you, your point, Cynthia, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to do this because the amount of sensation that's being sent to the brain, is it just too overwhelming that even in a hypnotic state, they're not able to take it? Open your eyes and wake up. So far, everyone has failed Stand the cold up. immersion test. Stand up. No one has stayed in the water for more than 18 seconds. Stand up. Good. Okay, help him up. Stop, Pop. Oh, okay. Put your feet under you. Put your feet, feet under you. Okay. Only one participant, Ivan, the 36-year-old corrections officer remains. If he fails, the experiment is over. So if no one makes it through, we've got our answer. We couldn't hypnotize any of the subjects to go against their own will. Take my hand. OK, each time I give a little pull on your hand, you're going to feel this urge going really down into the hypnosis state today. Now, you're going to sit in a tub of ice water. You're going to disassociate from any of the physical feelings. It's going to feel real calm, real comfortable, real good. And I want you to open your eyes still hypnotized. Okay, sit down. Disassociating from any sensations and getting right into it and staying right there. Whoa. He's content. Listen to his heart rate. This is incredible. How long can he last, is the question. One minute. He's not panting. His teeth should be chattering. Now, he looks like a tough guy, but nobody's that tough. <laughs> this is painful to watch. It's fascinating to watch as well. OK, we're at 1 minute 45 seconds. You don't want to go over two. Yeah, I don't want to go over two, so let's pull him out of two. I, I concur. I, I think two minutes. Let's uh, stop that. Stand up. Help him up, gentlemen. Help him up. Help him up. And now, one, two, three, four, five, fully refreshed. You did it. You did it. Well, I'm blown away. Yeah. That's very powerful. Step back one more time, please. Gently Step back. Down. Step down. Excellent. At two minutes, Ivan's performance stuns the team. I was skeptical going into this, but that was just astounding that he can get in there sitting in that water. If you notice his heart rate, it was high. Then he got into the tank, his body zoned out. Right. From my point of view, it's very hard to have the autonomic control that these patients have. That is hard to fake. His respiratory rate on capnography without a blip and everything else perfectly stable, his EKG not a flutter. I mean, I, I see things from a physiological point of view, and I can't explain how that's done. Wow. I would have thought that every one of these people would have failed this test. That gentleman would have stayed in there probably for a lot longer than he did. I mean, clearly, the guy did it, no question. And no doubt that this is an incredibly difficult thing to do.